community does not stay stagnant. It either grows or it dies. No one really knew what it was or what it was going to be, but we heard about it and how it was going to change uh, development going forward forever. That idea that you're going to come in and create a new life, a new lifestyle for a community is really something that is pioneering. It was just a different way of thinking. They create value and they increase the value as they improve the facilities over time. That service after the sale, so to speak, is missing in so many places. These guys are business people. Even more important than the, the real estate itself is their reputation. They've been in every type of industry and business, so they know it from the, the banking side, from the government side, from the developer side. They want quality just as much as anybody else. The touches and the architectural amenities that go into the structures, very impressive. They do quality subdivisions with quality amenities, and they care who's building in there, and they care what's being built in there. It makes it so much better when you're dealing with somebody that's doing it right. These guys get development and what residential development should be. What's so fantastic is you have the residents in regular houses, you got the residents in townhouses, you have the residents in the estate houses, you have the residents in the shotgun houses, you have the residents in apartments, and then also you have the work. You have doctor's offices here, you have 12 or 13 different banks that are here. So it's a work, live, play, environment. It's a place that has everything you need within a stone's throw of your home. Any prospects we ever brought to town, they know this is a different community. Wonderful place to work. It's an incredible place to live. It was everything that I thought a neighborhood should be. It's an amazing lifestyle. And I believe a lot of the success of Lafayette we would not have achieved without having such a wonderful development that we have right here in the heart of Lafayette. There's four essential characteristics that uh, these communities have to have to be successful. One is they have to have a, a true mixed-use urban town center, which is the heart of the development. Secondly, they have to uh, devote a certain percentage of their real estate to parks and open spaces. Thirdly, they have to be pedestrian-friendly and go towards walkability. The last element that many people forget about is that every one of these successful communities have a total mix of residential product types. And when you do that successfully, you end up with multi-generational communities where the great-grandparents live in the same community as the grandparents who live in the same community as their kids and ultimately their grandkids or their great-great-grandchildren. Those are the key ingredients that make these things work. And when you eliminate one or more, uh, you're asking for trouble. There are so many activities here. The community events are all first class, whether it's the Sugar Jam or the 4th of July and having fireworks festivities or the annual Easter egg hunt. It's just an energy level here. My favorite event is Rhythms on the River, and the reason it's my favorite event is because I can walk to it, and then I can walk to all my neighbors' homes. We got it all! Why would you not want to live here? If you're a hermit, you don't want to live here. But if you like people, if you like activity, if you have any interest, this is the place to be. Working with SLD is a breath of fresh air. Everything's done first rate the first time. The quality of life that they have shown people, I think, has also raised the bar. They have their plan, they stick to their plan, they implement their plan, and that's it. If you are a mayor, if you're a council person, these are the guys you want to talk to. These are the guys that you want to have as part of your community. They understand what it takes to make a great neighborhood. If we don't want to build infrastructure the same way our forefathers built infrastructure, then we can't keep developing the way they did back then. I wish there was more River Ranch type developments. This definitely raised the bar.